Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to West Virginia Astronomy. My name is Jonathan. It's the first clear night I've had in about two weeks, so I have the Sky Goddard Pro running over here with the uh, Astro Modified Canon 80D, and I'm focused on the Andromeda Galaxy. And I have, I'm using the Rokinon 14 millimeter lens, so I have a lot of the uh, the Milky Way in there in the image as well. So we'll get a cool image that. Uh, I don't see too often of the Andromeda Galaxy and the Rokinon 135 with the ASI 183 and with this lens we can shoot it like something pretty fast like f2.8 or something and yeah we'll really be able to pick up a lot of that detail and this is one of the targets that uh, really inspired me to actually purchase the Rokinon 135 it is the perfect focal length for this target so yeah, I'm just kind of standing around waiting right now. The Pleiades is up, so I'm starting to see it a little bit. So, so yeah, it's right below it. Hopefully pretty soon we can start those and get that rolling. So, yeah, stick around, guys. It's going to be a fun night of astrophotography in the backyard. The Spaghetti Nebula designated Siamese 147 and SH2-240 is an extremely faint, fairly large supernova remnant of about 150 light years across. It's located about 3,000 light years away in the constellation of Taurus. Uh, the violent stellar explosion that created the Spaghetti Nebula left behind all that remains of the original star's core, surrounded by intricate filaments of material. This expanding remnant has an expansion rate of about 950 kilometers, or nearly 600 miles per second, and is approximately 40,000 years old. Sky Guider Pro and here's the framing that I've chosen and you can see the Milky Way here and Andromeda is right here in the frame and it looks super good I'm really excited about it um, I'm shooting at ISO 1600 and that is a three minute exposure and we're shooting at F uh, I think 5.6 just to sharpen up those stars so yeah guys, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, the 135 going and I'm ready to see what this thing looks like. You can see Orion over there coming out. It's really what made me fall in love with astrophotography and yeah, it's nice to see it rising up slowly on that horizon. It's close. It's close. I don't think it's above the tree line yet. Yep. You can see there's still trees all right there. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, we're going to choose the elephant's trunk nebula. I do believe we are right on the elephant's trunk. We got our second exposure coming through. And it looks really good. Um, when we stack up a bunch of these together, that'll really uh, come through really strong. So, I'll bring it over to about right there. And we will bring this over. There we go. Now you can really see what we captured here. Now obviously this is really noisy, but yeah man, I'm pretty excited about this. 
we might just end up shooting this all night. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to just let this roll. I got it set on 30 exposures. These are 300 second. And yeah. Should be right there in the middle of the frame. We actually even caught another target over here. Something separate. It's a super faint target with uh, it's mainly just little uh, tendrils, like really skinny slivers of hydrogen alpha gas. And I always wanted to shoot it, but I never had the right focal length. But here it is on my screen, finally. It's moments like these that make this hobby uh, remember why I loved doing this. Pretty cool. But I won't get excited till I actually see the stack picture. So anyway, I'm gonna let this run. I'm pretty beat. So I'm gonna set my alarm and yeah, get up in the morning and check everything, make sure everything ran smooth. So. Thank you.